What strange thing did you find out about someone else that they thought was perfectly normal? My friend didn't know Martinez weren't normally served in giant water sized glasses and thought she was getting ripped off when she ordered one at a bar. Her parents were alcoholics. My friend genuinely believed that leprechaun was just a term for indigenous Irish little people. I was talking to my husband on the phone and he told me to hang on. He had to put his clothes back on. He was at work. I asked what the hell he was doing and apparently he always takes all his clothes off to take a dump. Even at work. I knew he did it at home but he always would then get in the shower after so I figured it was just a preface to showering. He said he balances them over the stall door so they don't get poop particles on them. I told him no one else does this. He didn't notice because in the men's room he's used for the last 10 years there's only one stall. I'm not sure why no colleague ever asked him why he's hanging clothes over the stall door. One of my friends in college would clip his nails when he was out in public. One time he took the clippers out in a restaurant and the rest of us were like WTF. There was this guy I went to college with, when he was in the shower, if the urge hit him, he would just take a it in the shower instead of getting out to use the toilet. He did this the whole time he was a kid apparently, and it wasn't till he got to college and had to share bathroom facilities that he found out other people showering in adjacent stalls weren't cool with smelling it as he waffle stomped a log down the drain. 28 year old at work, takes a dump with the seat up, ass directly on the porcelain. My ex and her entire family share a toothbrush she argued it like they were all sharing a hairbrush. Glad that ended. My roommate in college thought you washed clothes on every single cycle on the washing machine. Our machine had a delicate cycle. A cotton cycle. A solo rinse cycle. A permanent press cycle. Etc. He always complained about the washer taking forever. It's because he was washing his clothes 4-5 times every time he did laundry. They carry the pizza box sideways under their arm. Whoa. I'm so glad it made other people as uneasy as it made me. It was a neighbor at a neighborhood pizza party that was kinda strange already. Every time someone talks about him I'm like. I knew he was strange since the pizza box incident. Guy had three nuts. Thought he just had an extra testicle. We told him it was probably a tumor. It was. My neighbors ate their cornflakes with orange juice instead of milk. Their parents had conditioned them all to think this was normal and acceptable behavior. I have a friend who has lost an immense amount of weight, yet eats and drinks like crap all the time. It had been revealed to me by him that he often feels so full sometimes that he just makes himself puke to feel better. This has been going on for quite a few years now. He's straight up bulimic and thinks it's just a neat little way to get rid of all the bad foods and drinks he gorges himself with. He's gotten so good at making himself puke. It's almost silent. No gagging sounds, no messy puke splatter. Just a stream of chewed up food and beers. I'm quite sure that even his wife is oblivious to this. A friend told me about a roommate who keeps a large bin full of bread under her bed. Every week. She buys a new loaf and adds it to the bin. She doesn't actually eat that much bread. But has a huge bin full. This reminds me of a conversation I had with a friend recently about sleep paralysis general sleep problems. I asked how ha. You know that feeling when you wake up with tears running down your face and realize you had been crying in your sleep? He replied no. Are you okay? My friend last night was like you know when you think you're starting to get sick and you're super tired. Your nose is runny. And your throat is phlegmy. And we're all like yeah. And she says and then your hands go completely numb. And we're all like nope. That's definitely just you. My friend started talking about how he'd just sometimes randomly lactate like it was the most casual topic of conversation. My friend has two older sisters and didn't realize that guys don't wrap the towel around their whole body until he came to college. My dad's parents never told him to brush his teeth and he told me that he used to eat a whole can of condensed milk every day as a kid. He still thinks it's perfectly normal. I don't know. And he just wondered why one day his teeth fell out. Only when he was in his 20s someone told him that brushing helps. When my friend makes mac and cheese she puts the cheese powder, milk, and butter into the boiling water. Edit. Added commas. I know someone at work that eats oranges with the peel on. I'm pretty sure he is a psychopath. Okay. 
So my old roommate did a lot of drugs and drank a lot. One time I had a friend over and we were gonna smoke from my roommate's bong and when my friend took a hit he threw up due to an extremely unpleasant taste and smell. We poured out the bong water and my roommate said he had never changed it out and the water was very very dark. I wanna say it was almost black but it was at least just very very dark. My roommate then said that looks like pee. We all looked at him in disbelief and asked if that's what his pee looked like and he looked very concerned when we pressed him on it and when we said that that's not how pee should look. I also would like to add that we did tell him that he should go and see a doctor about that to which he replied why yeah and then changed the subject. Edit. Some clarification and added last paragraph. I had a friend whose parents would buy a gallon of whole milk and pour half the gallon in another jug. Then mix water into both to dilute it. She always just thought that other people got a different brand of milk because drinking milk at a friend's house always tasted different. Her grandparents did it too. Really weirded me out when I saw her mom just pour milk into an empty jug. And mixing water with it. My friend used to lift the tail and blow on dog's asshole to play with the dog or something. My friend thought he was uncircumcised. Okay. He and my other friend hook up and she calls me after in tears from laughing. Apparently he thought that since his D had the head attached, he was uncircumcised. Had a roommate who didn't know you needed to wash potatoes. She made some potato dish and it was gritty. My friend always thought jacking off was like messing around. When she was in middle school a kid was commenting on how far along she was on an art project. In response, she said, maybe you'd be this far if you weren't jacking off all the time. In front of the whole class. And yet. She still only learned that wasn't what it meant her junior year in college. One of my friends genuinely cannot taste basil. He always thought that basil was some tasteless leaf that people like to put on pizza. He once ate bowl of basil leaves like a salad. A family member thought that hallucinations were something everyone dealt with. They thought that monsters under the bed and other cultural tales of ghosts were real things which were further confirmed by their experience. It this led to later diagnosis of schizophrenia once they couldn't cope well enough to deal with the symptoms and it became evident to family members. Guy at college never wipes his ass. He just exclusively eats once a day before showering and rinses everything there. I had a friend with an extra tight foreskin. He couldn't expose his head and when girls tried to pull it back he thought it was because they weren't used to uncircumcised ease. My friend genuinely believed that Native Americans are actually Indians immigrated from India. I lived with a girl that would eat baby powder that she had stashed in the drawer of the bathroom. She would walk by the bathroom and do quick shakes of the bottle right in her mouth. She would also buy whole frozen fish from Walmart and take them out of the freezer bag and slap them hard against the brick kitchen floor before cooking them in a stew. Until my early 20s, I thought lucid dreams were the norm. I cringe thinking of all the times I heard someone describe a bad dream and I said something along the lines of why didn't you just change the dream? Growing up, I said this to several close family members. And not one told me that was weird. My friend thought that everyone was regularly taking worming tablets to stop getting worms. It wasn't until she got married and told her husband she was going to go pick up their worming tablets that she found out it wasn't normal. I read a post on here about this guy who was super sheltered growing up and was potty trained to get naked and sit on the toilet backwards. He always thought it was normal until he was in his late teens and was using a public washroom for the first time when a guy in the stall next to him noticed his feet her backwards and asked what the hell he was doing. I can't get that one out of my head lol. I had a college roommate who had two hampers. One for shirts and pants. And another for socks and underwear. If one wrong article made it into either hamper, the entire hamper was then considered contaminated and he would throw the entire thing away. He'd put on cleaning gloves, pick up the hamper, and take it down to the dumpster and in it went. Clothes and all. We explained this wasn't normal but he was convinced we were the ones who were abnormal. Remember that interview with the Roy Moore spokesperson, where it looks like his brain shuts off for 10 seconds? That was basically his reaction when we pointed out his underwear touch his clothes while on his body. It was bizarre. My ex-husband has reflux really bad. Once I saw him chewing something while we were out shopping and so I asked for a piece of what I thought was gum. Nope. It was food that we had eaten about an hour earlier. 
He told me his food would always come back up all the time and he would just re-chew it and swallow it back down. I was like WTF. N-O-O-O. My aunt put a fence around the pool to keep the ducks out. She didn't believe us when we told her they could just fly over it. Does this count? I knew someone who didn't eat any kind of fruit. Not due to an allergy, but just because. Me. Don't you hate getting hit by those first few seconds of icy water when you turn on the shower? Wrong mate. What do you mean? M. Like in the morning when you're standing in the shower and you have to turn it on for the first time and it's really cold on your skin. Ah. Wait. Do you turn the shower on after getting in? M. No. That was the day my mind was blown by the fact that you could turn to be shower on before getting in. I was like 23 when I learned this lol. Edit. Did I ever think that I would wake up one day and have hundreds of people calling me an idiot? No. Not even in my wildest stress dreams. Thanks. Y'all. My friend puts lotion directly on her feet and then rubs her feet together. Poop knife. Poop knife always wins. This whole thread is cursed. I can't go to sleep unless the back of my left ankle is wedged between my right big toe and the second toe. I was 30 before someone asked about it. My family was raised saying sweep the floor when referencing vacuuming. My husband was very confused when I asked him to sweep the floor. Like the kitchen? No the living room. The carpet. Do you mean vacuum? I still say it because I grew up saying it. Now he's sarcastic about it. So it was a random day with nothing special about it. My fiance registered Sinee and I are at the local grocery store shopping for the usual staple items. We usually keep some form of frozen chicken and veggies for a quick meal on the event time to try or lazy to cook anything for the week. Well we're walking down the aisle that has ice cream on one side and all of the convenience items like hot pockets, pizza rolls, stuff like that. My fiance registered sign is talking about something and comes to a full halt with a stomp of her foot and does a hard triple take and goes shut. The. Duck. Up. You can buy corn dogs. As like pfft. Lol is that a joke? She thought you could only buy corn dogs at the regional carnival fair that comes around here in October. Edit thanks for the silver. Edit 2 I now know the difference between fiancé registered sign and fiancé registered signee. In college. A bunch of friends and I were sitting around talking about things we did as a kid. One of the guys in the group said didn't you hate when you got a cold and your mom would give you an enema? He soon found out that he was the only one. I worked with someone who didn't realize women wipe every time after they pee. I have a friend that thought it was normal to go two weeks plus without a sip of water. My roommate absolutely cannot have the room fan or any type of wind breeze blowing on him while he eats. My grandma has two toothbrushes also own for morning and one for evening. One of my guildies used to not add water to the Campbell's condensed chicken noodle soup. She always wondered why it was so salty. He likes to put on a bear costume and scare people at the park. He ended up getting tranquilized. My friend thought that everyone ate cereal without milk. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind eating dry cereal. But they thought it was weird that people would put milk in their cereal on TV comericals. Shows. ETC. They didn't know that this was a thing people really did. This one is about me. In my early 20s I started having a lot of pain in my upper left jaw. My dentist said there was nothing wrong with my teeth and that I should go see a sinus specialist. Get to the oral, ear, nose and throat doctor. And they comment on how stuffed up I must be. I'm slightly baffled. And say that I'm actually breathing much easier that day than usual. Ah uh, and that was the day I found out that most people can breathe through their noses most of the time and not just on special occasions. Turns out I'm allergic to dust mites and how have you not had anaphylaxis and died way. And had been experiencing an allergy attack for 23 straight years. The doctor's visit legitimately changed my life. I no longer had to choose between breathing and eating. This happened to me. Growing up. I was conditioned by my mother to not only use soap on my body while showering, but to use it in my hair too. Doing this made my hair feel insanely rough and dry, but I kept at it thinking it was the right thing to do. On a trip to California to meet some friends I took a shower and they didn't have a bar of soap. I confronted my friend about it, asking what they used in their hair as a substitute for soap. 
Everyone in the room gave me a strange look and told me that soap wasn't supposed to be used for hair. I was around 18 years old when I found this out. I remember the day a new employee from South America started working. I think he was from Peru. And he went to use the urinal in the men's room. He would pull his pants down completely to his knees. So he was bare-assed while peeing. Like a little boy might do. A representative from Human Resources had to explain to him bathroom etiquette. Edit. I apologize to the people of Peru MG the replies. A lawyer I used to work with would trim his toenails during conference calls in his office. Toenails. Not fingernails. Meaning he removed his shoes and socks and poured all over his stinky feet while on the phone. Never got over that. One of my friends won't let me visit her at home because she says she hates feeling like a hostess. We've been friends for 6 years. So we only hang out at my place or coffee shops. Knew a dude who pissed in an empty shampoo bottle in the shower and then he'd dump it on his feet. He also zip tied his pants shut when he slept so he wouldn't beat his meat in his sleep. Apparently it happened a few times. Anyway. Weirdest dude I ever met. Glad I'm not really acquainted with him anymore. My co-worker recently let me in on the fact that he sometimes spits on his toilet paper before wiping. What the duck Tom? My husband eats his scabs and thinks it's normal because his mom does it.